So I'm making our kids' favorite meal, meatloaf. I got this recipe from one of Paula Deen's cookbooks and it is so good. One pound of lean ground beef, one egg slightly beaten, an eight ounce jar of diced tomatoes, but I have never heard of an eight ounce jar. So this is 14, so I will just only use half of this. A half a cup of chopped green pepper, a half a cup of chopped onions, some shredded carrot, a fourth a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, and a fourth a cup of oats. Paula uses quick oats, but I don't have any, and the regular oats work just as fine. I just only use a fourth a cup instead of a half a cup. And to, to substitute that other fourth of a cup, I'm using some Italian seasoning breadcrumbs. So I'm just doing my breadcrumbs. I'm not even like using half of that fourth a cup just because my ground beef is very lean. And then see how it feels once I get going. Okay, one lightly beaten egg, or chopped peppers, uh, green peppers. These are so good. This is, I think, the star of the meatloaf. And I'm gonna add the onion. And something that Paula Dean does not add are the chopped or the shredded carrots, but I am trying out the carrots today. I usually try to sneak something in my meatloaf. And then I'm gonna use half this jar. She doesn't say drained, but I like to drain mine a little bit. And this is what keeps the meatloaf moist, uh, is the tomatoes. When I first made this, I was like, oh, that's interesting. So I'm just gonna do half of that. And then some black pepper. And some sea salt. Mix this up and see how it feels if I need more breadcrumb or not. Now we are a two pound meatloaf family. I realized the last time I made it. We'll have mashed potatoes. Feels pretty good, but I might just put a little bit more breadcrumb in it. I'm gonna take my spray, give the pan a good spray, put this in here. And now I'm just going to do the best I can and just make it into a shape of a loaf. I'm a picky meatloaf person. I love meatloaf, but I guess a diva when it comes to meatloaf. I don't like a dry meatloaf, and I don't like an unseasoned meatloaf. And this, when I found this recipe, we were so happy. My husband was happy. We finally had a good meatloaf recipe. My kids were happy. They scarf this up. And they also love it if you grab a muffin tin and fill your muffin tins with this meat. It'll cook faster in half the time. Oh, they love it that way too. For the topping, you are going to need a third cup ketchup, two tablespoons brown sugar, and one tablespoon mustard. Give that a good stir in. Try to get all that brown sugar dissolved. And now we're just going to spread this on top. There you have it. This is your meatloaf. I'm going to stick it in the oven for three seven, at 375 for one hour. And I will check it after an hour. Sometimes it needs a couple more minutes, but usually it's right on. And here's what it looks like all done. Mmm. That is so good. Oh yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not one thing dry about this. This is perfect meatloaf. And what is so great is the next day it makes the best sandwich.